Right. So the next one is uh, vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angle, you don't need calculation. Vertically opposite angle shows you that as long as you have a cross, it must be a cross. Huh? If it's not a cross, if it's not, you cannot apply a vertically opposite angle. So let's say, for example, you have a something like that, okay? Like that, huh? Uh, then you look at it, that is not vertically opposite angle because those, that the lines are not straight, okay? You can only apply vertically opposite angle when the lines are cross each other. If not, you cannot apply. So back to this again. Now in the vertically opposite angle, well, there, is, there are indications that shows you that they are equal. The indications are when you see when you see both angle opposite, uh, either they have one line, you can see one line, uh, and this one got two lines, you know, two line means they are the same. Two, two on the left, two on the right, that means both are the same. So the number of lines on the angle shows you that this is a vertically opposite angle. And if you tell me, say for example, you, you are supposed to find B, okay? So you say, oh, B is equals to D, you must tell me that it is vertically opposite uh, angle. You must, you must tell me. Okay, that's like the same, A is equals to C, A is equals to C, you must tell me the same reason. Vertically opposite angle. Yeah. So whatever the moment you tell me that it is equal or you, you are taking supplementary or complementary, you must give me a reason. For the next one is what we call a corresponding angle. Corresponding angle uh, will have you need to have two line parallel. You must have a, a transverse line, a one line cut across, and then you have two line that is parallel. So the two line parallels are are uh, indicated by the arrow. If you do not see the two arrow uh, on the two line, you don't see the two arrow. It means they are not parallel, okay? And if, and if for example, if one is uh, uh, one arrow and then the other one, uh, they draw another arrow. Uh, let's say, for example, they draw another arrow. Uh, maybe they're trying to tell you something, you know? If you see that one line has two arrow, the other line has one arrow, what does it tell you? Uh? Can somebody... Okay, can somebody tell me what does it tell you? Parallel, sir, I think so. No. Not, not, parallel. not parallel. Not parallel. Yeah, that's right. If you see the two lines, the arrow are, the number of arrows are different. Uh, maybe they're trying to tell you that they're not parallel. Uh, so you don't think that, oh, when, the moment you see arrow, it means they are parallel. They are not. Uh, so the, the number of arrows for the two lines must be the same. If I have two arrows on top, I must have two arrows below. It shows you that both of them are parallel. If they are, the number of arrows are different, uh, it shows that they are not parallel. Okay, so for the first two parallel lines that we are talking about in the corresponding angle, in the corresponding angle, the angles are at the same side of the, 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 the two parallel lines. So if, if you see that in the corresponding angle, angle A, Angle A is equal to angle C. You notice that they are at the same side, isn't it? Right? So if you tell me that angle of oh, angle A equal to angle B, sorry. If you say that angle A is equal to angle B, uh, okay, that's fine. But you must tell me a reason. When you're doing a question, uh, uh, when you're doing calculating, sometimes you need to apply the formula to find out from one angle to another angle. Then you lead on to another uh, uh, unknown, isn't it? Right? So you need to tell me, oh, angle A is equal to angle B. Why? The reason is, this is a corresponding uh, angle. You must tell me a reason. So the moment you put in corresponding angle, I know you understand. Yeah. Okay. So reasons are important. Huh? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the next one is what we call an interior angle. You know, interior angle, same thing apply. You, it must be applied on the two parallel lines. And the interior angle, just now we are talking about uh, one angle, angle A and angle B, right? They are both actually on the same, uh, on, on, on one side, you know? But when you're talking about interior angle, they are facing each other, facing each other on the parallel line. They are facing each other, you know, on the parallel line. So if it's, now, now but this is not equal, you know? It's not like a corresponding angle, they are equal. Vertically opposite angle, they are equal. But when you're talking about interior angle, they are not equal, but, they are when you add the two angles together, uh, angle C and angle D, uh, it will give you 180 degrees. So you have angle C plus angle D uh, will give you 180 degrees. 
they will give you 180. And you must tell me there was a reason. You know, if you tell me, oh, angle C plus angle D equals 180, or angle 180 minus D is equal to angle C, right? Okay, and uh, vice versa. So if you give me a reason, if you give me this uh, uh, example, angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degree, then you must tell me a reason. And the reason is interior angle. Okay, all right. Interior angle on a parallel line or interior angle. I think both both are acceptable. Lah. As long as you give me interior angle, they will know. Lah. Okay. So you must give me a reason. Remember, remember, remember uh, by heart one. Eh? Then we talk about uh, uh, adjacent angle, right? Adjacent angle and uh, supplementary angle simply has no difference. Lah. They add up together to give you 180 degree. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether you are using two angle, three angle, four angle. They are all 180 degree. All the angle add up together. Even though I put in another line, okay, another line, or maybe another line here, or maybe another line here. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D plus angle E plus angle F. Angle A, B, C, D, E, F equals 180 degree. What is the reason? Oh, you can just tell me supplementary angle is fine with me. Uh, it's fine with anybody who is marking a paper. Because what we want is 180 degree. So it doesn't matter whether you give me adjacent angle, whether you give me uh, supplementary angle, it doesn't matter. And the next one is uh, angle at a point. Now you use angle at a point uh, when you are calculating more than 180 degree, especially and less than 360 degree. Yeah. So so let's say for example, uh, this one I don't know like we put a la, okay, you don't know. Uh. So I will know that. I'll know that to get A, uh, A is equals to 360 degree, 360 degree, uh, uh, minus 133, minus 144, will give you A, isn't it? Oh, no, no, let's say you don't know, uh, 360 minus 133 minus 1, give you A, isn't it? But you must tell me, oh, you are using 360 degree, uh, I need to know why are you using 360 degree? Then you will tell me, the reason is angle at a point. Uh, you must tell me the reason. Angle at a point. Say so okay. Long. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Normally, when you say angles at a point, definitely when you see these yeah. uh, three yeah. join together the lines, uh, that means definitely that the one should be angles at a point, right? Mm, correct. When when you have no no when you have three hundred sixty three hundred sixty the whole thing, uh, uh, yeah you must use. Point. You must use 360 degree. Eh? Mm. If you don't use 360 degree, you cannot say it's angle at a point. Some people yeah. use the word, yeah, some people don't use angle at a point. Eh? Some people use the word uh, reflex angle. Reflex oh, angle. Ah, it doesn't matter. Some people like oh. to use flex angle. Some people use angle at a point. It doesn't matter because it shows that it is 360 degree. Oh, it's like square. Is it okay? Yeah, it oh. doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Angle at a point, reflex angle is okay. All right. It's just like it's just like a uh, supplementary angle, adjacent angle. It is okay. They are the same. Doesn't matter which one you use. Uh, alternate angle. When do you use alternate angle? Um, alternate ang when you have again two parallel line. Okay, two parallel line, and uh, in the two parallel line, uh, you will notice that there is an Z. You know, you must see a Z. You know, Z. The Z is here. Well, I draw for you, okay? Can you see the Z? Yeah. Alternate angle always exact, and they are op vertically opposite. You know, no, not not vertically opposite, but they are like one is on 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 one side, the other one is on the other side. You know, you know, you, you must have a Zorro la, you know, like I said, you must have a Zorro. You must have a Z. The moment you see a Z on the parallel line, yeah, you will sure bound to see. Somewhere the alternate angle is there, okay, right? Mm. Yeah, and then of course, uh, I will then we come to the last part where, uh, e, e, when you have a triangle, three line meet together, this is called the interior angle. Uh, in a triangle that is outside the triangle, this is called the exterior angle. So based on what you know uh, from here, okay, we, from what you know here, you must memorize by heart. You know all this. Uh, you the moment you know all this, you can actually do any question that they will give you. But it, it takes a lot of uh, 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 studying and understanding, uh, okay? How you apply, when to apply, and so on, yeah? 
Last week, we, we do some question. Uh. Last week, uh, I remember we did some question. And then you did quite well, you know. You all do. Okay. okay, that's fine, really. Quite good. You, even the harder one, you all can do. So that's good. Okay, but I am right now going to give you uh, some some tough question, okay. Uh, I let you all do. Okay, you, you all do on your own right now. As if you are doing in the exam. So that you know uh, what kind of exam question will come out. Okay, I'm, so I'm going to give you some question now. Uh. Right, so hold on. Uh. I will close this first. This I'm done already. Any question, anybody? Any any question on the summary? Ah, uh, sir. Yeah. Um, this is supplementary angle, 180 degrees. Uh, I used to, uh, so what do you call it? angle at the point also can, right? Angle at the straight line. Sorry. Angle, angle at the straight, straight line. Straight. Uh, which one for oh for supplementary is it wow. supplementary oh yes yes you're right supplement some people use supplementary angle some people use angle on the straight line right yeah, yeah you're right yeah both also can oh you also you can also use adjacent angle uh, adjacent. yeah adjacent. or for for 360 you can use angle at a point or mm -hmm. reflex angle then yeah, that's okay? for the for the interior and exterior angle yeah is there any peculiar figure i mean uh, it could be it could have anything, right? Interior angles and actually yeah. angles. Yeah, interior angle and exterior angle, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. It, yeah, it must be a triangle. Three lines cut together to give you a triangle. Then you can use interior angle and exterior angle, okay? Oh, okay, sir. Thank All right. You. But for uh, for a, a interior angle, uh, let me see. For an interior angle of a parallel line, this one, uh, this one, can you see this one? Oh, okay. okay. This one for interior angle on a parallel line, uh, they must be, uh, they will add up together to give you 180 degrees. The interior angle must be on a parallel line. So in this case, it is an interior angle on a parallel line. Okay, this is an interior angle on the parallel line, this one. Uh, and they will add up together, the two interior angles on a parallel line, add up together will give you 180 degrees. Oh. So these, these are the things that you apply, you know, you apply, then you can solve a problem, uh, okay? These are the things you will apply. In, in the exam, you will need to apply. If you don't know all this, you can't do. You know, look at the question, you don't know how to proceed. Yeah. So, okay, I am going to close this. I'm going to give you some questions to do on your own uh, right now. Uh. I, I'll give you some time to do. Let me close this. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Should I close this? No, I should not. I should not close this cancer. Okay, if you are ready, take out some pencil, take out paper, pencil. Are you ready? Make sure you have a paper pencil. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I also, I also yes. have not done it yet. I'm going to show it to you now. You must do on your own. Huh? Uh, okay. All right. This is a question. <clears throat> In the figure, now this diagram, uh, now this diagram actually show you a lot of information, you know. First of all, DF and CG, uh, if you look at DF and CG, this this one, uh, DF and CG, DF and CG are parallel. How do you know it's parallel? Because uh, they, they, you can see the two arrow, right? AC and EFG, ABC and EFG are parallel because you can see the two arrow, one arrow, one arrow on the top, one arrow below, so you know that they are parallel. So you can see arrows are very important because they tell you which lines are parallel to which line. Okay, now the first one, ABD, uh, ABD is 46 degrees. So identify all the questions, look at the question, uh, identify what are they, okay? ABD is this one, no? ABD, 46, yeah? And then you have DFE, uh, DF, so the F is here, okay? DFE is this one, 52. And then you have the last one, FCG. Uh, FCG is 72. Okay, so you yeah, okay, I, I, I identify the three angles. Uh, yep. Sorry, the, you see the CFG, right? The triangle is actually a uh, sum of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. As long as it is a triangle yes. in the, okay, uh, it, it's a very good point, you know, Manjula, you mentioned that. Uh, now, as long as you have Triangle, it's good to know everybody. Uh. Everybody good to know. A uh. very good point when Jula brought up, okay? In a triangle, angle A plus angle B plus angle C, uh, three, 
three angles in the triangle add up together must give you 180 degrees. Oh, yes. Okay, you must know this. And if you, if, you, if you are using this formula, even though it is not inside the book, uh, if you are using this, let's say, for example, you want to calculate A, okay? So angle A is equal to 180 minus angle B minus angle C. The reason is sum of triangle. You must give me this reason. If you are using a triangle, uh, uh, angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180 degree. And if you want to calculate angle A, let's say, for example, you know what is B and C, but you don't know what is A, right? So you will take 180 minus angle B minus angle C, yeah? okay? Is, uh, you, you know that 180 minus B minus C, what's the reason? Why, why, why are you using 180 degree? The reason is sum of triangle. So I want you all to, I want you all to add this into your formula. Uh, add this into your formula. As you, as you move along, uh, some of the times they, 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 you notice that they don't give in the book, you know, okay? But they expect you to know. Sum of triangle. Sum of triangle means total angle in a triangle, it must be 180 degrees. Okay? So write, write this down in, uh, in your book. Uh, write it in your summary. You know, I, I, I gave you a summary. Just like remember, I gave a summary here, isn't it? You must like to add it here. Add into your book, okay? Sum of triangle are uh, angle A plus angle B plus angle C. Uh, angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180. What is the reason? Sum of triangle. Add, some more, uh, add one more inside. Uh, then you know more, more, more reason to apply easier for you. The more you know, the more you can apply, okay? All right, so add one more. Huh? All right, with that, I, I want you to do the first one. Let us do first. You, you do first, okay? I, you're supposed to find out CFG. Before you do, you must see, what, where is CFG? Huh? CFG is here. I, I change some color. Lah. You're supposed to find out CFG, uh, this one, okay? I erase this. I give you some time to do, huh?
Okay. How CFG? How do you get CFG? Eh? <clears throat> Anybody can give me an answer, please? Can somebody can somebody give me an answer for CFG, the first one? So is it 54? Uh, Siva, is it? Siva? Uh, this mental calculations I do. Uh, and... What kind of mental are you? you Very can... fast. No, sir. Uh, is it 54? I'm doing now, but is it 54? I, I don't know. I don't okay, know. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll read in a proper manner. Thanks. 50, you say 54, I just write it down, okay? Any other answer? I don't have the answer. I'm just waiting for you to give me, okay? Yeah. Anyone? Besides 54, anybody got a different answer? Manjula? Yeah, I'm still thinking. I think, uh, Mr. Wah, I just roughly told you, tell you. Uh, so yeah. the F, uh, V is 46, right? C, 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 yeah. Uh. V, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, C, F, G, right? C is 72, huh? uh, F will be 52. How, why, why do you say 52? 52, ah? Uh? Yeah. You are guessing or uh, you count? Yeah, 52, ah. Uh, because it's a... Uh, how do you say, vertical? Sir, yeah, CGF is it uh, like what you say, sum of triangle? Is it CGF? Yeah, sum of triangle. Mm. Uh, okay, so uh, angle, angle F. Uh, Angle F is it 52? Uh? Where is angle F? Uh, uh, I don't know what F? angle you call that. Like, like the the, the oh, pink, wait, the wait, orange wait. color they oh. draw one. Oh, wait. They, oh, wait. Uh, they, they say CGF, uh, not CFG, right? So you're supposed to calculate this one. Eh? Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. This side is, uh, yeah. Must yeah, be other side, opposite side. The other side, the other side, this one, uh, this one. Uh, opposite side, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. But anyway, doesn't matter. But we have to doesn't find, matter. Doesn't matter. Mm. We have to find F also. Uh. Yeah, you have to find F. You're quite right. Right. <laughs> you have to find F. See, yeah. F, you see, uh, F, the one, uh, 52 is which, uh, is, uh, 52 degrees, which angle? Uh? 52 is DS, DSE, no? So it's F. Uh. DSE, you cannot say F because there's no, F itself, there's so many, you know. C so you cannot say F. Uh. Ah, you must say CGF, CF, DFC. Oh, uh. you, you cannot say angle F. I, I, how I about, just don't know. How I don't about know BCF? Ah, why? Ah, uh, uh. you but can how I, how, I, how I find CFG? Uh? Oh, uh, you tell me lah. Oh, okay, okay. I I I know Mr. already. Hundred hundred eighty degrees, right? And it's the one. The G is uh, fifty six degrees, and F is fifty two. Yeah. Add up to hundred eighty degrees. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. G is what? G is fifty six. Ah, fifty six. F is fifty two. F is CFG. CFG ah. CGF. No, CGF is what fifty six. Yeah. Then CFG leh? F is fifty two. Fifty two. You, you cannot tell me F lah. You cannot tell me F. You must tell me CFG. CGF. CGF is six for five six. Ah. Uh -huh. hmm. Then CFG leh? The answer what? Huh? CFG is fifty two. Yeah. Oh, CFG is two. Ah. All right. Can you tell me how you calculate fifty six ah? Hundred eighty minus seventy two. Minus yeah. 52 also. Yeah, minus 52. Okay, then how do you get 52? 52 is the co correspondent, is it? Is it correspondent? Uh, oh, so you're... Yeah, yeah, okay, you're telling me... Okay, everybody... Opposite. Very good. So you're telling me this is 52? Uh? 
Yes. How do you get this 32? Uh? Correspondent what? EF and then BC, I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. How do you get 52? 52. Is, uh, it is called... Uh, how come ACF... How come ACF is 52? Uh? Uh, ACF, no, we're talking about CGF. Is it a correspondent angle? No, 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 AC, no. AC... F no uh, not correspondent angle. See uh, the the reflection angle. Reflection angle where? The, where? Where? F C. F C ah. Uh. What F C? D F D F C. C G F. T. No. I I know that you want to get fifty six right. You want yeah. to get mm. C, C, G, F, right? In C, order to get 56, uh, you must get C, F, G first, isn't it? Am I right? Yeah. Yes. Can yeah. you tell yes. me how you get 52? That's why that's my question. <coughs> Can you tell me how come C, F, G is 52? Because it's a vertically opposite of the 52. No, what are you talking about? Cannot be vertically opposite angle. Because where, where, where got vertically opposite angle? Where? 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 where got... No, it's a it's a correspondent correspondent angle, one. Where? I'm talking of the F, the side. The e and F. Wait, e and wait, F. wait, wait, wait. Let me let let me debunk Manjula first. This is a vertically <laughs> opposite angle. That's what Manjula. I see. Yeah. Anjula, this is yes. a vertically no, n o yeah. no, n o no. Uh -oh. This is this is not vertically opposite angle. Vertically oh, opposite angle cross, uh. must be like that. There's a cross. Yeah, There's yeah, yeah. That's cross. why I yeah. thought, but I, then I couldn't find. I'm then, uh, no, there's two parallel, two parallel lines, uh, sir. Okay, two parallel is where A B C A C A C A to C, right? B, C, and, and e, then e, F, G. So you are saying that this is 52, is it? Are, are you trying to tell me that this is 52? And yes. It, okay. Because there's a two parallel line. Okay. It's and a yeah, correspondent also, angle. Yeah, yeah, correct. At the C, that's why you see got 52, then bottom F is 52. It is called a, a corresponding <laughs> angle. Wait, la, listen to me. La. <laughs> see, uh, you, if you tell me, if you tell me B, C, oh, no. Sir, sorry. The uh, uh, fifty two is given. D F E. Huh? It's given. It's given. D what? Given to us. Where? D F. There on top. What in the figures is e. H C D equal F, e. to. E. It's given. The angle is given. What? <laughs> Slowly, yeah. Uh. Okay, Jeffrey, you're the spokesman now. Okay. <laughs> you are the, spokesman. the rest listen to him. Okay, yeah, yeah, Jeffrey, can you yeah. tell me, Jeffrey, why is huh? B, C, why is B, C, F is 52? Can you tell me why? Because I see two correspondent lines. Where is the corresponding line? There, A, B, C, and A, B, C. E, F, G. So? Parallel line, right? Not corresponding, parallel line. Yeah, the parallel line, so? The yeah. parallel line, right? Yeah. So, yeah. uh uh angle d f e b b f c right b f c alternate no uh how to say uh, d f e 52 is it d f e a c f a c f why is it why is a c f 52 i'm keep asking you <laughs> <laughs> because 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 EFC is fifty two uh. So D, what what E F E elephant <laughs> England uh, France <laughs> and China <laughs> England France and China is what fifty two right eh? England France and China work of fifty two <laughs> uh, actually it's D E D F E uh. D E D F E, D -F -E. yes, yes, so, yes. So you are saying that D F E is 
52. Therefore, BCF also 52, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. But there is no parallel line. The parallel line must be like that. If you want it, uh, this... I, I see, C and G is parallel. Okay. To, uh, the, D and then, F. then you must draw a parallel line here. Yeah. Construct. I, I construct a, a line for you. Uh. Then you must, ex, you must extend the parallel line. Yeah. You must extend the parallel line, you know? Ah. Okay, you must extend the parallel line already. You must extend the parallel line. Okay. Where is your corresponding angle? Correspondent. Yeah. Yeah. The parallel line uh, is must be there, there is no parallel line, you know. That parallel line uh uh fifty two la. Fifty two this your your corresponding angle is this one this one uh ah, yes yes, one. Uh, but there's, ah, yes. There's, there's no 52. <laughs> 52. we have a corresponding there's no corresponding <laughs> right a bit there, confused. Is no, there is no corresponding no huh? okay yeah. sorry there's no corresponding let the others try. <laughs> oh, oh, Manjula, your turn. Mr. Wong, is it my turn? I'm thinking yeah. because I don't want to give you the wrong answer. Okay, very good. <laughs> Who else? Who else want to contribute? Hey, you don't think I have the answer, no? I don't have the answer. I'm just waiting for you to give me the answer. This is the exam. You're supposed to give me the answer. <laughs> then I tell you whether oh, correct. <laughs> Mr. Wong, yes. Uh, my answer for CGF is fifty-two. Oh, yours is fifty-two. Ah. okay. Mm. I I so mm. I take it away, lah. I take away because they tell me 50, 56, ah, but they cannot give me a reason, so I must take it away. So you say that it's fifty-two, ah. I'll put fifty-two. Okay. All right. Can you tell me how do you get fifty-two CGF? Uh, I I first find CFD first. CFD. Yeah. Okay, yeah. can you tell me how you get CFD? Very good. Very good. I got 72. Can you tell me how you get 72? Uh, alternate angles on a parallel lines. Where is the alternate angle? Uh, FD and GC. Uh, FD and GC. Alternate angle, is it? Alternate yeah. angle? Uh -uh. Alternate, alternate angle. That means this one. Uh, is uh wow you're very clever there eh? <laughs> yeah right you know very clever I, okay after that you find something to tell me what is the next thing you do and then i find c f g how come you can find c f g uh supplementary angles supplementary angle is it very good yeah. hmm. after that and then uh, CGF 180 minus 56 minus 52 equal oh. to 52. Uh, this is 56, right? Yeah. Okay, what is the reason? 180 minus 72 minus 56, what is the reason? Sum of a triangle. Very good. Who, who, what's the name again? Uh? Aisha. Aisha, yeah, very good, Aisha. <laughs> okay, can you understand what she's saying? Uh? Yeah, very smart, very smart. Very clever, very yeah. clever. Can you teach me how you very smart? <laughs> <laughs> you see, yeah? Okay, okay. No, no, no. Actually, all of you know how to do, but it's just that you cannot see it. That's why I told you, you must yeah. use yeah. all your your knowledge to apply. Yeah? It's actually the answer is there, you know, but you must use what you can see. Yeah? Apply it. You can do one. Now, you look at it. Uh, let, let, me, let me just repeat what I... What, uh, Aisha, is it? Aisha? Uh, yes. Yeah, Aisha? Okay, let me yes. just repeat what Aisha say. Eh? Now, I'm going to write it down for all of you. Uh, anger, and uh, I'm going to change it to blue again, eh? so that easier to, to see. Lah. Okay, anger, uh... Mr. Wan, don't mind, I can erase everything, then show us, I think. It's oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, then we can need, know clearly. Yeah, Peter, oh, oh, okay, thank you. I, I erase, hold on, eh? very good, man, Aisha. 
uh, erase for you. Let's start from here, right? Let's start from here. Huh? But we know I we know that Aisha file that is fifty two. So I just leave it there first. Huh? Okay, I'm going to write now. First of all, let's start. I I know that this one uh, this is seventy two. This is seventy two. Huh? This seventy two. Now that the alternate angle is here. I'm going to draw the line for you. Okay, I'm going to use red red color. Then you know which one I'm talking about. I'm going to draw a line for you. Huh? Can you see the opposite angle? If this is 72, uh, if this is 72, this must be 72. All right, then I will say, how do you find 72? I will ask you how you find 72. So you tell me D, angle D, F, C is equal to uh, uh, F angle F C G equals to 72 degree. If I'm marking your exam paper, I will know how do you get 72 D F C is 72. Well, because I'm using alternate angle. Alternate angle. Right? The moment I find one, uh, I can able to find C F G already. Okay? CFG is angle C. Of course, there are many ways to find. The moment you find the moment you find DFC, uh, there are actually many ways to find your DG, DGF already. But this is one of the ways. This is the easiest way. It's very, very clear. So after you find uh, DFC, uh, I will able to find ang angle uh, CFG is equal to 180 minus 72 minus 52 what is your reason angle on a straight line or supplementary angle uh, angle on a straight line uh somebody give me the answer please uh, aisha 180 minus 72 minus 52 56 56 degree Okay, now I know that this is 56 already. This is 56. Huh? So to, to find CGF, which is the first question, right? To find the first question, huh? CGF will be angle CGF equal 180 minus 72 minus 56. Why, why did you use, why did you use 180? Oh, you learned already. This one is... Some, some of them triangle. of triangle. triangle. Okay, some of triangle. Huh? So equals to 52 degree. And your answer is correct. You see, you apply what you learn. Huh? You, you, you know what is alternate angle. You know what is angle on the straight line. You know what is the sum of a, a triangle. All you need to do is to apply at the correct place. You will get it already. So that's the first answer. CGF is CGF is 52. Very good. Copy this down, please. I give you some time, copy, yeah? Copy this down, please. I move up, move up so that you can. <clears throat> Got it? So, so, so the first one, you got it, right? Okay. Now you calculate the second. Uh, any questions first? First one. Anyone got any questions? First one. Christine, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Uh, do you understand? Um, I'm look, still... at, look, look at the solution first. Do you understand? <clears throat> I'm still catching up because right okay. now I'm eating. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, eating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The dinner. Mm. Uh, what about uh, 
uh, Josie Tay, is it Josie? Josie, are you there now? I'm outside. Uh, did you say Tay, are you okay? Can you understand? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm outside. I can't understand. Oh, okay. Okay. Haja, are you there? Haja? Haja? Yes, Mr. Wong. Yes, Mr. Wong. How is it? Can you, can uh, you follow Haja? Uh, I cannot. Which one, you, which one you don't know? Which one? Which, which line you don't know? Which line? Tell me which line. Mm. Uh, Uh, I, yeah, I, sorry. Uh, actually, I don't know. Uh, which one? The whole thing. You you don't know about the anger, right? Okay, let me go back to this one for those. Uh, I I I must stress again. Uh, this one. Uh, you must know this one very well. You know, Com first one complementary anger, supplementary <laughs> anger, vertically opposite anger. You you must know all this very well. You must know it very well. Or, or adjacent anger, anger on the straight line, alternate anger. You must know this. You must know this. Mm. Because if you don't know all this, eh, how you, what are equal, you will find this one very difficult to do. You don't oh. know what to apply. Uh. So you, in order to do this question, uh, you must be able to know this. You know? So in this case, uh, what do you need to know? Uh? Just now when, I, when we calculate, we actually use, uh, uh, what do we apply? We actually use alternate anger. Oh. Uh, what else we apply? We use supplementary angle or angle on the straight line. We actually use this. Uh, and then the last one, we use uh, 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 angle sum of a triangle. Uh, mm. So we actually use this three formula, you know, use oh. three, this three formula in order to get this uh, uh, CGS. Oh. If you don't know the three formula, you, you'll notice that you cannot apply, right? Uh, oh. you, don't, yeah, you don't know which one to apply, you know. So you must know this very well. You must know this, this very well. Or else you can't do this. Mm. Oh. You understand, yeah. Haja? Haja? Yeah. It, yes. Okay, what, what I can do uh, is that uh, we will move forward. Uh, when uh -huh. it comes, when it time to revision, uh, I will do it all over again. You know, when we have, we have time, uh, uh, we yeah. finish, we'll do it again. But in the okay. meantime, you must follow me, you know, you must try to follow me, Haja. Okay, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so in the meantime, uh, Haja, I suggest you do this. Uh, you go back and, and study this uh, summary. Oh. All, all, the, all the anger, oh. study how or uh, what is what is complementary. And for example, the first one, uh, maybe I erase this uh, too much. Uh. I erase this first, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Huh? Okay, I, I erase this. Uh. Okay, in the meantime, uh, Hajar, what you need oh. to do is this. Uh, you you must go back and study uh, uh what what is number one what is number one what is complementary angle mm -hmm. what is complementary angle you, you must know this uh yeah. number number two you must know what is a supplementary angle mm -hmm. complementary is an IT. supplementary angle is 180. you must understand what is vertically opposite angle okay, when to apply when to apply corresponding angle when to apply inside, uh, uh, interior angle, not always, but possible. Uh, you, must, you must apply uh, angle at a straight point, this one. Okay. You must learn alternate angle, you must learn. And you must know the last one, sum of a triangle. Sum of a triangle. Oh. So mostly these are the ones that always come out. Uh. These are the ones uh, that always oh. come out, you need to learn. Oh. Is that okay? okay? Yeah. Okay, so, so I, yes, when, yes. when I when I go back to this again, uh, so you'll notice that I actually use uh, a three, you know. I actually use uh, a, a, a supplementary no 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 no. I, I use uh, a supplementary angle, I use uh alternate angle and I use and I use some of a triangle, some of triangle to solve this problem, three angle. You'll notice that, right? Okay. <clears throat> so now you the moment you find what is CGF, uh, you can find BCF already. Now you go and find BCF for me. You 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 must identify where is BCF first. Okay. So uh yeah no tell yourself where is BCF, right? I mean you look at the question BCF, where is BCF? So you must know all oh, BCF is actually here. BCF is here. Right? They will ask you what is BCF, which is the second part of the question. No? Uh, okay, can somebody tell me what is BCF? 
Mr. Wong. Yeah. Can I try? Of course, you can try. I'm, I'm not just... sure whether I'm right or okay. I'm, I'm it's not okay. Sure whether I'm right, but I just think I okay. Right. The C, uh, I think is BCF. BCF. You cannot say C. BCF. Yeah, but uh, BCF mm. is um, okay. BCF F uh, is seventy two degrees, and C yeah. is forty six degrees. Wait, wait, forty six. Wait, C forty six. Because it's for, because B uh, at the side you see forty six, then C. Is wait, 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 wait. Oh no 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 no. Your no. Your cannot say oh. 46 is that's why angle B is 46. You must tell me A, B, A, B, D is 46. Uh, angle A, B, D, 46. Angle C, D, F, C is 46. Uh. Uh, angle A, B, D is 46. Angle okay. B, C, F. Okay, so F already to 72 degrees. So B, C is 46 because it's uh, alternate angles. I got alternate angle 46. That means 46 is the one is outside, but this is inside the C. So you are saying this is 46, ah? we are, you are saying this is 46, is it? Yeah. I'm not sure whether I'm wrong. Oh, oh, oh. How do you get 46? How do you get 46? I don't understand that. Yeah. You can only get 46, uh, ah, provided I have a parallel line. Say, for example, if this is a parallel line, ah, this, ah, this is 46, ah, that's okay. But it's not a parallel line. Oh, you don't but that. Uh, it's not a parallel line. Yeah. So that you cannot say, oh, this is... This is corresponding angle. They are not corresponding. There's no there is no parallel line. There's no parallel line. Yeah. Isn't that right? So you cannot say this is 46. Okay, that means it should be 180 minus 72 and minus 46 will give you the angle C. Where is angle C? There's B and C. Where is B and C? B is 46, right? And uh, F is what? 72. So minus 80 <laughs> minus 72 minus 46. Manjula, you cannot tell me B is 46. There are so many B. You must tell me A, B, D is 46. Okay, A, B, D is 46. Okay. Okay. Uh, angle F, I think is I don't know. It's D, where is it? Where? F. D, F. C F C the angle here is 72. Correct. Correct. Okay. Then <coughs> B uh that means C and the C corner, how do you say uh, C the corner C the C you want to find C out, right? C F. C now it's uh, 180 minus 46 what? minus 72. Well give you angle C. What is angle C? What is C? Uh I think it's around B A. No, there is what, C. What is angle C? You, you cannot say angle C. Angle C got two, like, BCF and FCG. No? Okay. Which, but B uh, is represent 46, right? Are you keep telling me? Repeat uh, over BCF over. is for BCF. F uh? already we know is 72, but BC. What? BC? BCF. BCF, BCF is what? BCF is. Uh, Wait, uh, let me. Uh, what, what is BCM? Uh, what is BCM? Uh? 62 degrees. How do you get 62? Can you tell me how you get 62? I take 180. 80. Minus all uh, the, you know, the ABD got 46, right? ABD 46, yeah. Okay. Then I minus 72. The D. What, what's the reason? Why, what is the reason why you 180 minus 46 minus 72? Uh? There's no triangle. Uh. There's no triangle, right? How come? Trapezium, right? Yeah, so trapezium, nothing to do with anything. Uh, trapezium, what, what formula are you applying for trapezium? Actually, it's not a trapezium, you know. Trapezium, you need parallel line like that. There's no patrism. Let me think again, so. Sir. Yeah. Uh yes, yes. Yeah. I think uh it's a corresponding angle. BCF is fifty six. Fifty six. Uh five six, yes. You think it's fifty six? Wait, uh, because I 
Because A, B, C is parallel to E, F, G. Correct. So? So, uh, 15. Oh. Uh, so, angle G, F, C yeah, is 56. What yes. Correct. Yeah, You're right. Yeah. You're right. You are right. Yes. So, sir, yes. can we extend the ABC line? Uh, actually, we can, right? Of course, you can. Actually, so this so picture, uh, the diagram yeah. very confusing. Uh. It purposely yeah, confuses you. Confusing, <laughs> they, they purposely confuse you. Seriously. They purposely confuse you. That is their purpose. <laughs> I don't know how to read the diagram, actually. Right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, you, so, you are, yeah you, because there's a parallel line. Yeah, because right. there's a parallel line, yeah, Manjula, you're right. There's a parallel line. Where's that? Okay, okay Manjula. Uh, Manjula, where's the parallel line, Manjula? Parallel line is the A, B, C. A, B, C, and? F, G. Very good. I'm going to write down for you. Uh, I'm going to draw the parallel line for you, okay? Uh, uh, so that you, because they're using uh, A, B, C, right? A, B, C. And then you're using uh, E, F, G, right? Yeah. So in this case, case, uh, it will be, it will be, um, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll draw it. Uh. Actually, it's uh, also a Zuru, a Zuru uh, you yeah. see. So this one is 56, this also 56. So, so you are telling me, uh, ACF, uh, BCF, right? Because you want to find BCF, isn't it? Yeah. Angle BCF is equals to 56 degree, right? Okay. All right, you put 56 degree. I want to know why. What is your reason? Alternate angles. Very good, Manjula. Alternate angle. Very good. Yes. Yes. Oh. You, yeah, you must put alternate angle. That, because when you tell me BCS is 56, huh, I will say, where in the world you get 56? But when you tell me alternate, I know where you find from. I know that you're taking this and this. Uh, I know, because you put alternate angle. Okay. So your your. Your reason is very important, you know. Your reason is very important. Yeah, very good, Manjula. So the next one, uh, you're, you're supposed to find BDF. BDF. All oh, right. Now, you see uh, the reflex of your BDF, uh, reflex angle, okay? BDF. Can you tell me where is it? Uh? BDF got two, you no? Know? BDF got two angle, am I right? Do you all agree that BDF got two angle? Yeah. Two angle, right? That's why they tell you, uh, they only want the one that is reflect. In other words, the reflect is, I'm, I'm going to draw for you. Uh, is it this one? This one, uh, I will call X, okay? This side, uh, I will call Y. So for BDF, uh, it's X or Y? BDF is X or Y? X. Huh? Why do you think X? Why because X? Because it's uh, angles at a point. Because it's more than 180, right? 180, yeah. Yeah, if you take Y, uh, it cannot be Y. Why is it it cannot be Y? Tell me. Because Tell me. the same. Huh? No, it's not the same. Why is it that it cannot be Y? It cannot be BD. BDF cannot be Y. What is the reason? How do I know that it cannot be Y, but it must be X? What's the reason? Because <clears throat> it's all add up to 360 degrees. So no, not is a reason. That is not a reason. Okay. When you're talking about reflex, it means what? Reflex means what? More than? At a, at a, uh, more, reflex uh, angle means more than 180. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, it says. Yeah. Am I right? Reflex means more than 180, right? X, no, is more than X is more than 180. Why? Why is less than 180 or less than 180? Why? Isn't it? I want, I want only reflex for me. No, reflex. That's why they put the word reflex for you. So you know that it must be X. It cannot be Y. Because if you give me a Y answer, your answer is wrong. You know? You understand? Uh, that's what they, they purposely tell you that they want the reflex and not the other one, not the one that is less than 180. So now you want to find X, uh, I think you'll see something, right? Do you, all, do you all notice that last week we did some question on this? Manjula, to solve this yes. problem, what must you do? Sorry, Mr. Wong. To, to solve this problem, what must you do? 
to solve the BDF, is it? Yeah, what must you do? Okay, we must check the... You know, that last week you all do already, what? To solve a problem like that, what must you do? You all tell me already, you all did it last week. Uh. Uh, so I'm is gonna... it parallel uh, D, what, F, what? and C, G? Uh? D, F, and C, G. They are parallel, so what? So yeah, Carol, you're, you're right. 46. Huh? 180 minus 46. 180 minus 46. Why 180 minus 46? Because uh, you know? we want to find the inside of the angle of the D. Yeah. want to find the X. You want to find the angle of the X, right? So you want 180 minus 46. What is the reason? Uh? Uh, uh, is it inter interior angle? I I forget the reflect. Reflect. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is. There's also a parallel line right at the side. How how you how do you find? Why you know? Huh? Huh? No, no, why? No, no, no. I want I want to know why you take hundred and eighty minus forty six. Why? I because D is the is less is hundred eighty. Is uh is more than the three hundred sixty. Uh huh. Because the D side is hundred eighty. Because that's why you say reflex angle is hundred eighty. Uh, interior angle. Interior angle. Huh huh. Interior angle. Interior angle. Interior angle. Where? Where where is the triangle and the outside? Where? Oh, it's all. Okay, you know, last week, uh, your, last week when I did this problem, uh, y'all actually tell me to do something, right? To do what? Are you? Uh, last week, y'all did this, uh, what? What did y'all do? Tell me. Is it extend the line? <laughs> extend the line where? Where? D, oh, yeah. to the D, in the middle of the D. Yeah, yeah. in the middle of the D, correct. I'm going to draw a D, eh? I'm going to draw, yeah, right. I'm going to draw a D here. Yeah. Extend the line, parallel. So you have one, yeah. you have two, then you draw another one, uh, parallel line, uh, all parallel, okay? All right? All right, now you have this, you can do already. Now with this one, you can do. Yeah. Tell me. Okay, what to do? Can't do it. I bought the tell you. Also forty six. Where what what? Inter where is forty six? Because that is called um. Uh, yeah, because it's a parallel and three and. Okay. Eight, okay. Eight, wait. Eight, wait. Okay. Wait. 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 Mr. Wong. Yeah. Mr. Wong. Uh, Christine. 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 Yeah, right. Okay. Christine. Tell me, Christine. The the D is a is a what what line what angle? Okay. D straight line. D, uh, okay. Line. I, I, will, I will use the word D uh, since there's no out. Can I use an E? Uh, there's no E, right? Or F, G, H, uh, D, H, uh, can I not? D, H, D, H, D, H is parallel to A, C, is parallel to E, F, G also. Oh, A, C so it's... is parallel. That's why I put the arrow. Uh, can you see I put the arrow here? Sir, oh, okay. uh, excuse me, uh, sir. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You mean, you mean we can just draw a line and put make it as a parallel? You can draw any line you like. <laughs> no, I mean we we can just draw a line and then make it parallel. Of course. Corresponding <laughs> angles. Of course, we can draw. Okay. You can draw uh, anywhere. Hey, you know what? Y'all can do this, no? Wait, 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 wait. Y'all can do this. If it makes sense to help you to calculate, you can draw a line here. If you can draw a line here, you can draw a line here. Can draw a line here. Can draw a line. Okay. Put an arrow. Yeah. And you can put anywhere you like. But but you must <laughs> sense. If you draw so many lines, it doesn't make sense. You still get it wrong, right? Am I right? Yeah, yeah, of course. You, you yeah. can you can draw any line you like as long as it can help you to calculate. And it, that's why when you draw a line, uh, you must give me your reason. What is your reason? As long as you draw a line and you give me a reason, uh, they will accept. It doesn't matter. Mr. White, it's always alternate angles. Now you want us to find. Now where you want us to find. The D is 46. It's an alternate angles. Very clever. Where is 46? Manjula, tell me where is 46. 
Okay. Uh, 46 is at the angle A, B, and D. Then yeah. uh, you draw the line between of the D, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. also 46 here because. Where, where, angle. where, where, where? Where? You know, the middle of the D, there's a small. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me there's a middle. Give me the, the alphabet. D D H. D D H. D H. B D H. Very good. D D H. Yes, yeah. this one out way, huh? I I suddenly. It was H I. Oh, so many. Very good. So this one, right? This one is it? Yeah. Yeah. Because you drew the line, baby. Because you do a parallel line, so you can you can say that B D H, huh? B D H equals to positive. Angela, what's the reason? Alternate angles. Alternate angles. Good. Very good. I'm going to write down here. Yes, that's right. Yes, very good. Now you know this is forty six. Very good. So so now what? Now what? Yeah. Continue. You have not finished, right? Okay. You, want, you want you want X, isn't it? You haven't finished yet. Continue, yeah. please. Hmm. X is uh hundred eighty minus X, forty. X is actually here. X is the whole thing here. Okay, continue, please. <clears throat> hundred eighty minus forty six. Why? Have to find. Uh, B D H forty six so D D D F huh? B D B D B D F forty six B D F B D F fifty two when B D F B D F is fifty two degrees is a parallel line. BDF work of 52. Where did you get that? Oh, nice EFG. Huh? Yes, again. Very hard to say, but I know. <laughs> we just uh, tell me the alphabet can really. Okay, alphabet. Okay, uh, just now you say BDH is 46. So BD... now you want to find the other oh. side of BDH. Where, where? Where is the other side of BDH? Okay, now it's called BDF. Huh? Is it B? No, D. D F is it? Is it A B D? <laughs> no. And next. Yeah, I don't know how to say, but I. Just read the alphabet. Give me the alphabet that makes the angle. Is it B to A? Charisma, charisma, your turn. Charisma, are you there? Charisma. Charisma, charisma. Lina, Lina. Lina. Hello. Aisha, Aisha. F D H. Say again. Say again. F D H. Very good. What is F D H? Fifty two. Very clever, are you? I put fifty two here. So FDH, FDH equals to 52. What is your reason, Aisha? Alternate angles. Excellent. Excellent. So now you have 46 okay. plus 22, uh, uh, 52, right? Now, now how do you calculate X? You can do already. Angle X is equal to what? 360 minus 360. Minus uh, continue, continue. Uh, Christine, is it? Three hundred sixty minus forty-six minus fifty-two. Forty-six minus fifty-two. What is the reason? Uh, because that one is the point of the angle. Uh, angle at uh, uh, point. point. Can you give me the answer, please? Angle X. Somebody give me the answer, please. 360 minus 46 minus 52. 262. 262. 262. Uh, 262. Now you know why the call reflects because it is more than 180 degree, right? Yeah. Now you know why the call reflects because it's more than 180 degree. So the answer oh, is this. Okay. Uh, so you are correct. Okay. So it's a 262. Yep. Because of 266. 
Apa? 262? It's 262. 262, 266. Oh, 262. Okay, okay. 262, sorry, sorry. 262, eh? 262, yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay, can. Okay. This is one of... Is, yeah, your exam is like that, eh? Your exam question is like that. They are going to give you here and there, and then you're going to do it yourself. Yeah, it's like that. So be ex expect your ex exam questions to be like that, nah. Okay, all of you, you must really. It's not so simple, but you must understand how to apply. So this is the first one. I'm not done with it, nah. All that already, nah. Copy so already. This one, so this one will be how many marks? Ah, one mark each. Ah, uh, two lah. I think since there are one, two, three, they give one, one, one. Not done. I think it's not worth doing like one box. Sucking your head like <coughs> rather do a concentrate on paper work better. No, Jeffrey, it's not difficult. Jeffrey, it's worth doing because yeah. it's not difficult. It's not difficult. <laughs> it's just have to apply. Very confusing the line. No. The line makes you confused. No, it's not difficult. It's just that you just have to see where you apply only. That's all. It's not difficult. It's worth doing. It's not serious. doing. <laughs> Worth doing, worth doing, really. Worth I doing. think I, I do it, I'll put it on the last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <on> the last. <laughs> okay, can you copy this first or not? Before I give you the next one. I'm not done yet, you know. Hey. Are you copying? Are you copying this one? Uh, copying, sir. I'll just... Copying, I, I'll give you some time first. Okay, yeah, your exam is like that, nah. that's your first. <clears throat> I raise this and make it neater. <coughs> a battery degree yeah, got a dot on a dot. Yeah, yeah. Anybody Hello, Mr. Wong. Yes, have, yes. You, have you recording for this lesson? Yes, I'm recording. Oh, okay, thank you. thank you. I will be posting it to the YouTube at the end of it. Okay, thank you. Copying? Oh, copying? Yes, yes, copying. Okay, give me some time. Like Jeff, that Jeffrey mentioned, uh, I am on July. You can draw any line you, you like. You can draw any as long as your line makes sense. But if you, if you draw a line that doesn't make sense, please don't draw. Uh, because sometimes you confuse yourself. When you draw too many lines, uh, you can actually confuse yourself. So, But you draw line actually to help you now. So it's very good to draw line. It's very good to draw line. If the line is too short, make it longer. If the line is not there, draw it so that you help you to calculate. You can actually draw any line you like. Perpendicular line, straight line, parallel line, any line you like, as long as it makes sense. Okay? It doesn't matter. Mm. And when you draw the line, the, the, the alphabet is not there. You write it yourself so that you can actually specify. Like in this case, you can see that I put the H here, isn't it? Right? Why I need to put the H here? Because I need to say DH. If I don't put the H there, then I say D what? D. There's no line. D, D what? You know? So I, I put an H there so that I can say it's DH. But you make sure when you put an alphabet, the alphabet must not be inside there. You don't go and, you don't go and put, uh, go and don't, you don't put H, you put, First, say for example, you put A. Yeah, you put A is not a good idea, no? Why is it not a good idea? Why is it that you put A is not a good idea? Because there's already an A there. Because there's an A there already, yes, correct. So you don't put an uh, alphabet that is already there. You don't confuse the marker, okay? So you put something that is not there. So in this case, I put H. I put H because H is not there. So that when I say DH, the marker will know which one I'm talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> Mr. Wong? Yep. Oh, July, yes. Actually, uh, the angle CGF, uh, you put it as sum of angle, right? Oh, the under an A. Right. CFG. Yes. CFG, you, you are said that it's an angle on a straight line. Can I know why is it a straight line? Because you draw a line outside, is it? Angle on the straight line. For which one? Because uh, 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 CFG, is it? Yes. Oh, why? Why why is it CFG? I, because I'm using 180. 180 is actually... 180 uh, minus 52 uh, is actually minus to get the, to get yeah, CFG. Uh, minus. I need to minus this. I need to minus this to get and CFG. And this is angle on the straight line, isn't it? It can, it can be uh, 
how to say, can it be supplementary angles? Also can. You want to put supplementary angle, also can. Yes, you're right. If you want to put alternate angle, also can. I told you these three are the same. It doesn't okay. matter which one you put, yeah. Okay, can. All done? Can I push the next one? Sweat, right? Next one, eh? Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to push the next one, eh? Next one. Ah, wow, this one tough, this one. Let me see, eh? Advanced level. Wow, advanced level. Yeah, in trouble. Okay, let's do this. You're supposed to find the value of... Um, I don't know what you want to find. Oh, this one also. Yeah. I think you're supposed to find the value of um, unknown. I think find A. Lah. Maybe you need to find A. Okay, two things you need to do. Lah. Either, I think you just find A will do. What is A? Okay, find A. A. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's do. I'll give you some time. I will tell you. Uh, anyone got any answers? Let me know when you have the answer. Mr. Wong? Mr. Wong? Yeah. Yes. Okay, you say to find A, right? That means yeah. 4A degrees minus 10 degrees, right? So you want, you want that answer, right? I want A. <laughs> yeah, A. So A equals to... Uh, 10 divided by 4. How come you get 10 divided by 4? I'm doing this kind of uh, sum, like 4a minus 10 degrees equals to 4a equals 10 degrees. A, no, then no. a equals to 10 divided by 4. No, make no sense. No, make no reason. No reason. Mm. Yeah. This is, this is an algebra question. But before you can do the algebra question, uh, you must form a statement. If you don't form the statement, you cannot find A. You cannot say 4A. Yeah? I'm going to write down for you, okay? I, I think roughly I know what you're trying to tell me. You're, you're saying... You're it's saying, the, what the, what the solve the equation, yes. Yeah, so you put 4A minus 10, is it? Then after that? Yeah, then after that, I put the next term is... Uh, uh, the minus 10 equals minus 10 will be plus or positive. How? How? There's no equal. There's no equal. There's no equation. I only have 4a minus 10. I have no equation. Mm. You must form an equation first. If you want to solve an algebra, uh, algebra equation, uh, you must have a statement. If there's no statement, you cannot do. Like in this case, uh, I just have like that. How to do? How to find a? One statement, one line cannot. Uh. One line cannot find a. You need a statement. Like, for example, 4a minus 10 equals to what? Uh, then, okay, there's a statement. Or maybe 4a minus 10 equals to 360 degrees. Uh, then you can find a, okay? For example, oh, uh, that, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so you need a statement. If you don't have a statement, you cannot find a. You need a statement. So, since you say that, nah, can uh, it be 4a minus 10a equal 180? Slowly, slowly, 4a minus 10. 
I, I'm going to write down what you just mentioned, okay? 4A minus 10 and equal 180. You're saying, uh, wait, you're, you're trying to tell me uh, this uh, one uh, is 183, uh, no? Cannot be. How can this no, side be no, 183? Uh, no, the other side. The other side Actually, is it's, it's a straight line. What you it's call this? Uh, supplementary angle. Supplementary uh. angle, okay. Yeah, okay. A yeah. to B one. Yeah, the correct. Other side, You're right. The other side. So, so what is the other side? There's nothing here, no? There's nothing here. Yeah, there's so nothing here. here also. Yeah. You must give me something here. Since there's nothing here, yeah. since that uh I'm going to change color so that you know oh, what. Okay, uh, okay. Four is hundred and eighty. Since since there is nothing here, there's mm. nothing here, right? Give me something there. Uh, give me uh, you see how uh, the whole circle is hundred and eighty wow. The whole circle is not 180. There's no circle here. Where's the circle? No, the first half is 4A minus 10, right? Yeah, 4A minus 10. Then your orange color here. Yeah. Orange color plus the and whole right, thing is 180. Corresponding degree. angle. Very good. You mentioned corresponding angle. Can you tell me what is corresponding angle? Which one? Uh, be below one. Below one, so? Two. So? Two A minus two. Two A minus two is what? Corresponding to which one? Uh, the upper one. B. All right. I think you are trying to tell me that. Are you trying to tell me that this one? Yeah. And this one is corresponding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. All right. So in this case, uh, you want you got to tell me by writing, you know. So how do you tell me by writing? Very simple. Okay. Very simple. All you need to tell me, you can say, oh, okay. Uh, you can say, uh, okay, B, at the, at the center, there's nothing, right? Uh, you can put X, oh, okay. You put X. Uh, I told you, you can draw any line, right? To make it easy for you, you can put X. This is X. This X, can I say this X? So you yeah. tell me this, uh, angle X is equals to 2a minus 2. Are you trying to tell me that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the reason? Because that one is cor correspond. Yeah, right. That's right. Corresponding angle. Oh. Okay. So the first one, correct. So I'm going to write down here 2a minus 2 because that's what it is, isn't it? Am I right? Continue, please. Yeah, continue. Uh, Minus ten equals to four a minus ten equals to two a minus two equals to two a minus two. They are not equal. They are not equal. Uh, plus plus plus. Very good, very good. Plus. Okay, I'm gonna take it away. Huh? Plus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Plus, right? Four a minus ten plus two a minus two. Continue. 6a minus no you have not finished yet wait 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 you have not finished yet huh? 4a minus 10 plus no. 2a minus 2 give you what 6a very good 100 what uh, 280 what is your reason because that one is a straight line which is what do you call what do you want to use supplementary uh, angle of the straight line uh, supplementary angle or angle on the straight line yeah uh. so right now you have you have an equation already. I told you, you all must form an equation, right? Can you see there's an equation already? 4a minus 10 plus 2a minus 2 equals 180 degrees. Can you solve a or not? Can. Okay, solve a for me. Continue, please. 4a plus 2a give you what? 6a. 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 Minus 10 minus 2 give you? Minus 12. Minus 12, minus 12 right? Uh. Equals to 180, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. What do you do next? Tell me what do you do next? Uh, 6a equal 6a equal 180 plus 80. 12. Very good. What's the answer first? 6a <laughs> uh, uh, 192, right? Yeah. Right? Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Why, why is a? So, but divided by uh, 6, uh, 192 by, uh, divided by 6. 192 divided by 6. 
Very, very good. <laughs> now, can you see now? You you notice something? You cannot solve A eh, unless you form an equation. Can you see this equation now? Yes. You don't solve this equation, you cannot do. Okay. Especially when there's an unknown oh. here. Algebra is like that. When you want to solve an algebra equation, uh, equation uh, you you need to form. You need to have an equation. If you don't have an equation, for example, if you just tell me 4a minus 10, how to solve? Nothing. 4a minus 10 cannot solve by itself. So you need to form an equation. So this is the equation that I'm talking about. This is the equation. Yes? Uh -huh. Very good. <laughs> but my, my problem is I can't even find x. Eh, eh you found x already. Wa? 2a minus no, 2? Me. No, no, the x, angle x. Uh. Okay. 2a minus 2, yeah. Okay, now if I ask you, uh, now I ask you, okay, I, I want you to solve what is angle X? What is angle X now? Let's say, for example, the first question is to find, find A, right? Okay, uh, 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 wait, 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 I, I, I do it for you, I, I write it down for you, huh? Yeah. Let's say the first one, uh, find, find uh, A, first one, okay? The second question uh, is find X, okay, what is X? X equals to what? 2 times 32 minus 2. Very good. 2 times no. 32. Yeah, 2 times 32. I right? know. But minus. the problem is I cannot even find the 2A minus 2. You know, I don't know the uh, it's called what uh, correspondent angle, is it? That is why you need to remember all Yeah, your that's why. Yeah. If you cannot if, find this angle, yeah. you cannot do. Yeah, right. You cannot find this angle, you cannot do. So ah. you must find what so, Jeffrey, do you agree with me that you must apply what you learn? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> the line confused me, actually. Yeah, so you, if you don't apply that corresponding angle, you cannot do. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so anyway, some people use this. Some people like to put it here also can the other way. Uh, uh, you know, you, you put the 4A minus 10 below, uh, also corresponding angle is the same. I mean, you get the same answer. Uh. Okay, yeah. <clears throat>